When we design our instruction for the dyslexic learners in our classroom, it's important to remember that we need to think of multiple modalities, multiple ways in which to engage them, in which they have opportunities to express and understand what they know, and also multiple ways to come to an understanding. So as an example, the more multi-sensory techniques that we can use, the more ways that they can understand the big picture and the why of what they're learning, the more profound it's going to be for them. Multisensory education is important for all students. That means that we're giving every child a different way to absorb whatever instruction I'm providing them with. We're going to give a visual cue, an auditory cue, and maybe even a movement, a kinesthetic example in there as well. The more ways that we can introduce information into our bodies, the better chance we have to remember it and be able to retrieve it. Oh, octopus, ah. Oh, octopus, ah. You up, ah. You up, up. If we want to change trip to trap, how can we change that? I Come on. I think you're getting bumped, Henry. OK, guys, let's read this word. Trap. Oh, my goodness. OK, who is my Mort group? All right, Logan and Carter, come on up. All right, are you telling us what mort means? Yes, mort means death. Okay. Mort. mort. Very nice. All right, guys, let's give them a round of applause. So Zoe's strategy is she is going to put her hand underneath her chin, and every time her chin drops and touches her hand, that is a syllable. So what's the word we're doing? Chimpanzee. How many times, Jackson, did your chin touch your hand? Three. So you can drag the number three to the word chimpanzee. A dime is worth 10 cents. So let's make 25 cents. Q, U, clean, cook. I, itch, I, itch, I want you to write that equation in the sand, and I want you to say it while you're tracing it. Here we go. Five times five equals 25. You can shake it so it erases just real gently. T-H thumb. T-H thumb. F fun. F fun. Nice, good F. Can you guys say place value? Place value. My goodness, that can be really tricky. Place value is such a critical part of understanding all of math, and it is typically challenging for a lot of our students because it's somewhat abstract. The value is based on the place that the number is in, or the position. What number is it, everybody? 25. 25. Let's hold up your two tens. The value of? The value of? Two tens. Two tens. Is 20. Is 20. Beautiful. And let's go to the ones place. How many ones? Five. Five. Let's say it. The value of? The value of? Five ones. Five ones. Is five. Is five. And do we remember what we do next? As students practice these multi-sensory pieces in the classroom, they start to see how a lot of these strategies help them and they'll start applying them independently.